Spencer and Broken Arrow, joined now by the Tulsa World's Barry Lewis for some expert in-depth analysis. What a night of playoff action, Spencer. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Nathan. Now, Barry, I'm not even really sure where to start in this game, and I guess the biggest question is how do you go from losing 42-3 to seven weeks ago, eight weeks ago it was, to coming out and pulling off this incredible win. How impressive was this performance tonight by Broken Arrow? Well, Broken Arrow's a much different team now than it was earlier in the season when they lost by 39 at Owasso. Got a different quarterback, Sterling Ramsey, who came up big uh, at the first of the game tonight and down the stretch. And then Morion Horn, what can you say about him? I mean, Unreal. in the first game against Owasso, he only touched the ball four times uh, as he wasn't being used much in offense. He's now got like five games over 200 yards. Uh, he's incredible, had a big time game tonight. And um, of course, RJ Spears Jennings been used more on offense now during this six game Broken Arrow winning streak. So Broken Arrow is such a different team than it was earlier in the season at Owasso. Speaks a lot to Josh Blankenship and what he was able to do with this team. Big win for them, big win tonight as well for Jinx. They look pretty impressive in their performance. Yes, I mean, that pretty well win as expected against Norman North. Uh, uh, Jenks rolled over them last year, and they did so again tonight. It's just business as usual for the Trojans. Jaden Carroll with another big game at running back for Jenks. A little bit of an upset here, people would say, with what happened Broken Arrow. A little bit of an upset, an impressive performance for San Springs. What a big time job going in and getting a playoff win. Big time for the Sandites right there. Because Dell City had all types of momentum coming into this game. And it's very rare in Oklahoma high school football where a number four seed will beat a number one seed in the first round of the playoffs. But San Springs pulled it off. Their tough schedule, I think, really paid off. And that Ty Pennington with another big game for Sand Springs tonight at quarterback. And now the path is clear for Sand Springs to get to the championship game after Deer Creek upsetting Choctaw. That would be quite the run in. And just real quick, from what you saw from Broken Arrow tonight, is this something you think they can sustain it and maybe make a little bit of a run here? Broken Arrow's got so much momentum. Uh, I think uh, their confidence is going to be sky high, and they'll want to avenge another early season defeat when they play Union next week. All right, well, we'll be there for sure. I can't wait for that one. Be sure to check out Tulsa World tomorrow. They'll have the full recap of all of these games.